You are listening now to A Word of Faith with Bishop Macedo. Thanks be to God, may the Spirit of God open your understanding to hear this message, because this message is confusing of, to those who are not born of God. And as long as the person is not born of God, they don't have the new birth, and they don't have God's Spirit, it is hard for them to understand God's Word. And unless if they are born of the water and of the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, then it is possible for them to understand God's Word. So, I pray that the Holy Spirit may understand, may help you to understand what the Holy Spirit says in His words. It is written, He told Martha, for she was worried because her brother Lazarus he was dead for four days. And what happened? Jesus, he went to resurrect him. And Martha told him, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that whatever you may ask of God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection on the last day. So she believed in the resurrection of the last day. But Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he may die, yet shall he live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Shall never die. Do you believe this? Jesus asked Martha this question, and this is the question that is on the air right now. Do you believe this? You who are listening, do you believe that those who live, who believe in Jesus will never die? And this is what I want to explain to you today. When a person, when a person, they live by faith, they live faith in faith in the Lord Jesus, not in a religious way, not in a religious way, let us understand, but a person who lives their faith in Christ, meaning what? They make Jesus the most important in their life. It's, he's the main reference. He is the main point. And when a person believes, truly surrenders themselves to Him, they marry Him, and assume a true commitment to Him, this kind of people, they will never die. That's what Jesus is saying. They will never die. So whoever believes in Me will never die. Ever again. There is no death to those that live and believe in the Lord Jesus. And this is the reason why we preach the good news to everyone, to bring the good news, so that they can have salvation for eternity. But then you may say, Bishop, very well, I do believe and I understand Jesus will resurrect me. No, no, He's not going to resurrect you. When you live and believe in Him, you will not die. You will not die. It may happen that your body here will end. That is death for people in this world. That's called death. But to Jesus, that's not called death. It's not death to God. And this is what is interesting. When a person of God dies, they actually don't die. They, are, they actually pass from this world, from this kind of life here on, on earth, to a new life that he has prepared when they went up to heaven. So that's why it's important for you, my dear listener. It doesn't matter who you are. 
it doesn't matter what you have done, it doesn't matter if you are men, women, youth, or an elderly, it doesn't matter who you are, or you may say you are a thief, or you are, it doesn't matter what you are, your position, but what matters is if you believe and live in the Lord Jesus, you will not die. I am not going to die. I am not going to die. If somebody is awaiting that I will die, you may be certain that I will not die. The reason why is because I am already dead to this world. And I don't live in this world. And whoever believes in Jesus, they are no longer, they do not belong to this world. They are dead to this world. They are already dead to this world. And this is so powerful. This is so good. This is glorious. This is so wonderful. Which is enjoyable. You know, we are in this world, but we do not belong to this world. The world is not part of my life. I am not part of this world. And we live in another world, in a spiritual world. Remember when Paul said, we should not attend to the things that we see. Because the things we see, they are temporary. People that live in this world, they live and enjoy this life that is temporary. But those who believe in the Lord Jesus, they live by what they do not see. So you cannot see the world that I live in. People out there, they cannot see the world that I live in. I live in another world. I live in another world and I have already died to this world. I don't belong here in this world. Are you following what I'm saying? In other words, I eat and drink and I sleep. I do take a shower. I live my life. I have my family. But that's my body. But my spirit, my life per se, it's already dead for 54 years in this world. So for about 54 years, I am dead to this world. I am dead and buried through the waters of the baptism. Because when I surrendered my life to the Lord Jesus, I renounced my life. I put my, my life aside and I died to this world. And spiritually speaking, I have 54 years. But my whole life, my life in this world is 72. But in reality, I am only 54 years old. <laughs> this is very good to know. So, my dear listener, when the Lord Jesus said, all those, he said, you can read this there in John chapter 11, verse 26. And all those that live and believes in me, whoever lives and believes in me, shall never die. It is written. And this is so glorious, this declaration that Jesus makes the question to Martha and leaves this question to us. Do you believe this? Do you believe this? All those or whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. They already died. Because they died to this world, died to their friends, died to their relatives. They, die, they, they are dead to this foolish and crazy world. So, my dear listener, understand what is the meaning to live and to believe in the Lord Jesus. It is much more than to follow a church or a denomination or a religion. It is extremely greater. For instance, when a person, they mistreat, when they persecute me and you know, they talk bad about me, or they try to destroy my, my work, 
They try to destroy the things we have, we have been building to our Lord Jesus. In reality, they are throwing stones foolishly. They are throwing stones to a tree that is dead. It is not going to hurt me at all. And Jesus said that when this takes place, he even says, Rejoice and be very glad, because great is your reward in heaven. For in this manner, for in this manner they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Rejoice and be glad, because it's great your reward in heaven. Look how wonderful this is. So, I have reasons. I have reasons to enjoy. Reasons to laugh out loud. Because I do not live anymore. I am no longer living. That's what Paul says. But Christ lives in me. So this is what takes place, because I am dead to this world. And if you live and believe in the Lord Jesus, so much more injustice or persecuted and so on and on, you may go through more reasons you're going to have of enjoyment. It's hard, yes, but there's more. You are a person that does not need to be concerned, does not need to be concerned with your own image. You don't have to worry about your name. You do not need to be concerned with your identity because you already died to this world. You are already dead to this world and you are living through the Lord Jesus. You are living by faith, the living faith, in the Lord Jesus Christ. And there is no way to kill you. There is no way to kill you. Death has been overcome from the moment we believe in the Lord Jesus. Death is already dead in us. It is impossible for death to reach us. We pass from death to life because we are hidden through the Lord Jesus. The world does not see this and the devil knows it. The devil, the whole hell actually knows about this. He knows that those that live and believe in the Lord Jesus has died. That's why witchcraft doesn't work. They can make a lot of witchcraft, they can throw whatever kind of curse, envy. They can do whatever they want because it's not going to work. And how can they do witchcraft against someone who is dead? There is no way. How can envy hit someone that's already dead to this world? Those are the ones that live and believe in the Lord Jesus, protected. That's why life to live and to believe in the Lord Jesus, it is infinite more or greater than just to come to a church. It's greater than just coming to a church because you live in an endless plan and you live in God's kingdom. You are living in God's kingdom. You are already in God's kingdom. And in God's kingdom, Whoever lives in God's kingdom, it is obvious that they are blessed, protected, guarded by the wings of the Most High. That's why you who are listening to me right now, whether you are in jail and you gave your life to Jesus, you are at peace. And people may ask, how can you have peace in prison? How can it be? You are only in peace because you have died, you have died to life in prison. So this life in prison has, does not have you bound. 
because your spirit, your spirit is free, your soul is free, your soul has resurrected and you are living in a new life in Christ. So people may not understand this. For me, I don't care if they understand it or not. What matters is that you understand it and you live it and you have this conviction and assurance so that you may not be dismayed in faith. That's the truth. Jesus said, all those and whoever who believes in me will never die. Shall never die. This is very good. This, this is very powerful. And he, he asks, do you believe this? Jesus was asking Martha, and he leaves us this question today. Do you believe this, my dear listener? Do you believe it? Do you believe that you will not die? Do you believe? Do you believe that you already died and you do not exist? <laughs> this is very, very nice, very powerful, extremely strong. It's extremely important, this faith that God has given us through the person of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. We are able to pass. We have crossed from death to a new life. When we truly convert, we cross from death to life. And death has no more power. And this, from this moment on, if Jesus returns and takes his church in our time, thanks be to him. And if he does not come and our body stays in this world, it doesn't matter. Because we are already resurrected. We are already living a new life and going to God's glory, eternity, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. We are coming to the end of our participation, but we're going to come back tomorrow. And may God bless all of you abundantly.
just there's a sweeten There's no better day than today to give your life to the Lord Jesus who awaits your heart. dad was an alcoholic. He would come during the night, drunk, and he would abuse my mom. He would constantly fight with my mom. There would be times where she would bleed. There would be times where she was bruised. And I would, I would witness this. He would literally come home and he would wake up everyone in the house. He would wake up me and my brother and my sister and we were young. And he would threaten to kill all of us. He would put a knife to some of us. I once told myself, I'm never going to be like him, never. But as I grew up, going to school, going to, going to college, I saw myself turning out to be like him. One time I even said to myself, you know what, I'm going to kill this man. When I reach an age, when I reach to a certain age, I'm going to kill him. I remember every time I would see him, we wouldn't really look eye to eye. I really, really hated him. I could say that I really, really hated him. As soon as I reached, there was purposes of faith that they did in the church. Purposes that that, that helped to change my life. I remember I took part in, in what we call a chain of prayer for my family, for my dad. Uh, purposes that helped me change my life, first of all. And today, I'm no longer the same. Today, I'm no longer bitter. Today, I no longer cry myself to sleep. Today, me and my dad are best friends. We talk, he comes for me to, for advice. He comes to me for advice. My family is restored. I am happy with it myself. I am strong, I'm doing well. I am helping other people also change their lives. And I can say today that I am total, total, a total different person.
Cause tomorrow may just be too late And Christ earns to set you free You try to find peace in this world In pleasures that come and go But in the end, tired and empty You'll find they can satisfy no Cause tomorrow may just be too late And Christ earns to set you free Why do you love my dear friend When you hear of the Lord's coming don't you know only Jesus can give salvation through his death on the cross? Dear friend, today you have rejoiced, life or death, none where you may decide. Cause tomorrow may just be too late In Christ earns to set you free Your Lord is then so has no right To gaze upon the face of the Lord
set you free.